Thank you for joining me today. We are going to be working on upper body and core. You don't need very much equipment. You want a wall. You want a bench or a chair of some sort. And then you'll want some light weights that you can get away with. Just two times five pounds if you want, or maybe go for eight pounds. If you don't have dumbbells, just use whatever sort of weights you have, like soup cans or uh, pop cans, whatever you have lying around the house. So you grab your equipment and then we'll get started with a quick warm-up. We're starting with those shoulders, going into some big shoulder circles. And elbow circles. Arm circles. And let's change direction for all of that. So now forward circles of those shoulders. Elbow circles. And arm circles. Excellent. Open those arms nice and wide. And let's just cross in front. And we're going to make some torso rotations for taking a wider stance. And twist the shoulders, rotate a little behind you. One more each way. Excellent. Next up, I want you to block yourself forward. And then you reach up to the ceiling, make yourself nice and tall, holding forward, reaching up, forward flexion, into expansion, and repeat. This is a calm before the storm. You know what Go for two more. You can't say uh, so I'm moving into a little bit of. A uh, movement that will increase your heart rate, putting on the spot, bring your heels right up to your butt. We'll go for another 15 seconds here. Almost through the warm up. Keep it going. Three, two, one. And then we're going to finish off with some jumping jacks. So just here, coming nice and wide, and step tap is your option. 15 more seconds. Goal here is just getting your heart rate up, breaking a sweat, getting those shoulders moving. Three, two, one. Awesome job. You have two circuits today. Each circuit will go through three times. Let's start with the first few exercises. Our first exercise, we will do five reps, and the rest of the exercise, we're going to go through ten reps. Kind of so, our first exercise this is a new one. You're going to stand against the wall, tighten up your core, perhaps your lower back into the wall. Then, with your elbows, Grab them back into the wall. Arms are bent at 90 degrees. Bring them up, parallel to the floor. Rotate your hands back into the wall, still keeping that core tight. And then press up as high as you can without releasing your back. Come back down, rotate, and come back down. That is one rep. This is called a wall row. We're going for five of those. The harder you just back into the wall and the more difficult it will be, make sure you keep your core tight the whole time. Alright, here we go. Push back. Lift those elbows up. Rotate. Press up. Bring it back down. Rotate. And bring it back down. Pressing hard into that wall. Keeping your core tight. Don't let your lower back.
and five. Well done. Next exercise, you're going to pretend that you're going to grab your dumbbells. And you're doing a reset bicep curl. So you're going to sit back on that bench and your chest up nice and tall. You're okay. Angle. So the further you lean back, the more challenging this will be for your core. So chest up nice and tall. The further you can lean back, the tougher this will be. From here, you're just going to do a bicep curl. Then all the way straight your arms up, all the way back down. Going for 10. Three, four, that chest up nice and tall. Two more. Excellent work. From there, we have push-ups on the bench. So I'll show you some different versions. If you do your push-ups with your hands on the bench, easier. So, that would look like this. Easier. You can do your hands on the floor. It's a bit tougher. And if you're feeling really ambitious, flip it around. Feet on the bench. Coming down, back up. That's the toughest. So choose a version that works for you that's really challenging. And you're going for 10 repetitions. I've already done three, so I'm going to do seven more. Nice tight core. Think about getting your chest down. Awesome work. And last exercise on the circuit are dips. So you're just gonna flip it around. Your hands are shoulder width apart. If your knees are bent, it's easier. If you straight your legs out, it's harder. So you're right here, you're gonna keep your body nice and close to the bench. Bend your elbows. And to make this tougher, straighten those legs out. Same thing. Or you can even lift one leg to make it even tougher. Going for 10, keep your body close to that bench. Awesome job. Run one round, we have two more. Back to the wall. Keep your core nice and tight, press your lower back into the wall. Here we go. Pressing back, lifting up, rotate. Right up, down, rotate, and back down. Four more of those. Drive those elbows into the wall. That core tight.
So again, all right, into our dips. So hands are shoulder width apart. Keep your body nice and close to that bench. Legs can be straight or bent, somewhere in between. Nice and deep. Lift one leg if you're feeling really ambitious. Great work. We have one round left. Find that wall. Press your lower back into the wall. Tighten up that core. Drive your elbows back. Lift. Rotate. Press. Here we go. Four more. Three more. Back core tight. Really important, you don't want that back shift. Last two. Final one. Whew. Great job. Bicep curl time. Have a seat on that bench. Cast up, roll those shoulders down and back. Going for 10, full extension at the bottom.
roll. Switching it up. Left hand, right leg. Palm forward. Strong form. Not letting anything move other than my arm. Extend that leg. Nice and controlled. 
Curling up, control, and extend. Breathe. No more at a time. Grabbing the belly, half kinds of extensions with the twist. Find that reset. Sit up nice and tall from behind your head. Twist. Fun. I will see you for our next class.